Do you ever wonder what's out there? Well, so do we. Armor Free Contact explores what humanity's first encounter with extraterrestrial life on Earth could be like. But not everything in this spin-off expansion is alien. It arrives together with many additions supporting the wider Armor Free platform. Let's take a look. Welcome to Livonia, or rather its militarized Natwell region to be exact. Connecting Eastern Europe and the Northern Baltic countries, this landlocked state is a member of NATO and has adopted the language of its close ally and neighbor, Poland. The Natbor region shares a border with one of Livonia's other neighbors, the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. Unsurprisingly, given Livonia's Soviet past, tensions between the two nations are high. The terrain itself spans 163 square kilometers and features coniferous forests, the Biela River, open fields, lakes, railroads, towns, churches, castle ruins, the old Siwa munitions factory, military training grounds, an abandoned radar station, dozens of bunkers, and more. Now, with a new terrain comes new armed forces. Let's introduce the Livonia Defense Force, or LDF for short. Though limited in number, these soldiers are highly trained and wear unique fatigues, vests, and helmets, with or without Spartan chops. And of course, there are loadouts prepared for over 30 specialist infantry roles. The LDF's wider arsenal also includes various reskinned armor-free vehicles and gear, plus one or two small surprises. For Livonians, such a versatile and capable fighting force is essential, especially in light of little green men operating beyond Russia's borders. Although the Kremlin denies such claims, Recent footage from Eyes On suggests otherwise. Wars may be won by men, but they are still fought with weapons. The Armour Free Contact expansion adds five guns. As you may have noticed, Livonia's soldiers have their own assault rifle, the Promet. This comes with an optional carry handle with integrated scope and an underbarrel grenade launcher and shotgun attachment. Then there's two additions to the AK family from the Armour Free Apex expansion, primarily used by the Russian Spetsnaz. The first is the RPK-12, a light machine gun with a distinctive 75 round drum magazine, elongated barrel, modified stock and added foregrip. The second is the AKU-12, a lightweight carbine boasting a shorter barrel and a more modern-looking AK-105 style muzzle brake. These, as well as the existing AK-12, come in multiple camo spray designs, ideal for both lush and arid environments. For civilian hunting enthusiasts, there is also the Mark 14 Classic. This is a retextured walnut stock version of the military issue Mark 14 that first appeared in the Marksman DLC. Unlike its military variant, it has a smaller 10-round magazine and lacks any automatic firing, meaning every shot has to count. Finally, there's also a shotgun, the Kozlitsa 12-gauge, available in a regular and sword-off variant. This traditional brake barrel 12-gauge is especially popular among Livonian farmers and uh, some of the more nefarious members of society. So, that's the weapons and gear. But Armour Free Contact also rolls in with an unlikely pair of new vehicles. Say hello to Eddie. Better known as the ED-1E Mini UGV. This small electric robot with a modular chassis can be used for a variety of mission profiles, including scientific research. With a multi-joint manipulator arm and several onboard cameras, its operator can assess a situation from a safe distance, or carry it into action as a backpack using a special harness. For military use, the ED-1D variant comes prepared with a mounted disruptor shotgun, ideal for demining operations and close encounters. As a bonus for the farmer enthusiasts among you, the trusted tractor from Armour 2 is making a return, 
albeit with some significant visual changes. Its model and textures have received a major upgrade, allowing it to stand the test of time. The tractor blends well into Livonia's agricultural landscape and might prove unexpectedly useful due to its robust and relatively low-tech design. To create an immersive single-player campaign, Armor-Free Contact brings with it a variety of premium cosmetic assets and dozens of free props. Of course, these are also perfect for those of you creating missions. Be aware, though, that a few of them have complex, scripted functionality intended for the Contact campaign, but are purely cosmetic when used in the vanilla Armor-Free Sandbox. Perhaps the most striking additions are those assets relating to chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear defence, often abbreviated as CBRN. To begin with, there's the Oversuit, available in multiple colours and faction-specific camouflage designs. This is complemented by special air purification gear, namely three types of masks and two kinds of backpack. Another notable addition is the Spectrum device, which comes with three different antennas. This item plays a central role in the campaign and is your go-to weapon of choice for engaging in electronic warfare. Lest we forget, there are also radio backpacks, prisoner blindfolds, and, at the very cutting edge of mind control protection, the tinfoil hat. On top of all that premium content, there are many new decorative objects, which are completely free for anyone who owns Armor Free. These props fall under a range of thematic categories, but are mostly linked to CBRN activities and high-tech military field camps. For instance, there's the decontamination showers and tents, meteorological instruments, ruggedized electronic equipment, cables, cargo platforms, communications gear, and much, much more. Last but not least, it's worth mentioning that NATO forces receive a selection of uniforms, vests, and helmets in a new woodland camouflage pattern fitting for Livonia's forest terrain. And civilians get a few new outfits too. On the audio side of things, Polish and Russian radio protocols are added to the base game. Plus, most of Armor Free's official multiplayer modes are playable on Livonia as well. Then, beyond all of this, Armor Free Contact's single player campaign contains some things that are not so easily explained. In the interest of public safety, these stay classified for now. But whether you want to believe or not, Armor Free Contact is set to provide many new options for one of the most powerful content creation platforms on PC. Live long and prosper. Bohemia out.